Hi guys, Silly here, Shamrock Forge. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Today, I am going to have a go, another go at tongs. Uh, I'm going to try split tongs this time. Uh, or cut, not split tongs, cut reins. Cut reins, split tongs, something like that. Uh, I measured off an inch and a half, and an inch and a half, an inch and a half, an inch and a half, put some center, part, center punch marks. That's going to be my nibs and uh, the boss. And then I took and went ahead and split it with the angle grinder. I made a groove down both sides. Uh, and I'm probably a third of the way through with both of them. But it's just at the point where the angle grinder is starting to grab and bind up. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, heat this up while, or wait until the forge heats up. I'm going to heat this up and I'm going to uh, uh, chill split it uh, the rest of the way to get my two pieces. And then I'll draw these reins out. Uh, and then I'll do the the nibs. So that's where we're at for today's project. So the type of tongs I'm making, I'm going to make uh, uh, kind of like some punch tongs, uh, but specifically to hold this drift. Uh, this is a one inch 4140. Uh, I, I, I built this for uh, drifting a hole in uh, bottle openers, but I think I'm going to try to drift a hammer with it. I think the shape's going to be pretty close, so uh, I need something to hold this with because it's too short to hold here and beat on with something right there, so I'm going to, yeah. I've got my old hammer, hammer blank here. Tomorrow I'm going to have a try drift that hole, but I need a pair of tongs to hold that. And my flat jaw tongs and other various tongs that I have here aren't going to do it very good. It's just going to slip out fly everywhere, so going to try to make something that are going to work. Alright, ready to come out of the fire for the first heat by climbing the top. Here they are.
tie. This should be the last heat. Should be able to split it on this one. Should. Doesn't mean it will. down them reins a little bit and the only reason I'm, I'm splitting it before I work the nibs and all that in is because if I had done all that first I wouldn't have been able to get the center of the bar in the center of my forge because I don't have a window in the back it's, it's closed in the back uh, something I overlooked when I built it but I will have to re revisit later on down the road so by the time I got it all drawn out uh, I'd have had that spot in the middle that was not going to be hot enough to chisel. So I thought I'll chisel it first, and then I'll do the the nibs. Ah. Ah, first go with the reins. doing a little bit of work while I was on the phone here. Got started, I got one set down and then the other one. And right now I'm just trying to work on the boss. to make a working set of cars.
We're getting there. trying to draw that out a little bit thinner and longer so I can give it a wrap. While I'm sitting here waiting on this piece to heat up, what's you guys' opinion of this forge? Let's see if I can... I mean, it's sitting right there. It's uh, literally, I don't know, three feet away from the camera. To me, it seems really quiet. It's a lot quieter than my little forge at, uh, uh, at work. Well, that sucker just roars, but this one is just like kind of like a low rumble. Uh, I guess I'll have to wait and see on the, when I edit the video how loud it is, but it seems really quiet to me. Okay, so I'm making these tongs to fit this one inch drift. Now, I measured the outside diameter of this drift, and it's three and a half inches in circumference. So that means each... Oh, I messed that up. Each side of the tongs has to close over, let's see, three and a half is going to be inch and a half plus a quarter, so inch and three quarter. So what I'm going to do is make a line on my anvil at an inch and three quarter from the far side, and I don't know if this is the way to do it or not, I'm just kind of winging it. Now, when I pull this tongue out and I put it on the end, I can see right where I need to start my bend. And I'll go just a little bit more. And I gotta stripe it somehow. That ought to do. Then I'm gonna There's one side of the blank done. And uh, I think I'm going to do the other side on the live, so I'm going to call this 50% uh, drip holding tongs. I don't know. Uh, we'll call the rest of that good. Or call that good for now until I get, get it punched and get it matched up, and then I can do all the final adjustments and whatnot. But for now, that's pretty good to go. Uh, uh, if you like the video, please uh, click like, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, uh, share the video. Uh, yeah. It's hot out here, even though it's dark. I'm, I'm sweating bullets here. Uh, so keep on forging on.